Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Model Geek, and welcome to a Turning the Page. This is where we go over quickly a book, a recent book or magazine that has recently come out or some type of media like that. And I'm just going to flip through the pages pretty quick and give you a um, typical kind of, if you were in a bookstore and saw this laying on a shelf and you wanted to look at it uh, thing. I haven't read this book. I don't really know um, much about mechs myself. I've never even built a mech model, so do not consider me an expert in any way. But this book just came out from uh, our friends at Ammo by MIG. Um, and it is it goes along with some paint sets that they have, which I will I will put on display as well. I uh, should have should have thought to put these in. Uh, so they have the chipping set for for mechs. Uh, they have the mechs and robot colors, and they have or mechas. I'm not sure mechas isn't a name for uh, the Spanish word for mechs, and a weathering set for mechas. So I, I believe that is uh, basically the Spanish version of mechs, what we would call mechs here in the United States, anyways. Uh, or even the Japanese, I thought they just called them mechs. But maybe I'm wrong. Again, I'm not an expert, so. Uh, this one is obviously in color. It is, um, let's see how many pages, about 92 pages, maybe. And uh, we'll look at the table of contents here real quickly. Uh, introduction um, written by, uh, the editor is MIG, so I'm guessing it is written by MIG. Uh, original idea and concept by MIG, so this book is by MIG. Um, so this is um, actually there's no there's no uh, there's no um, okay it's just broken down I was gonna say there's no table of contents as you would normally see um, just strictly from again a looking at a book thing I'm seeing some pro some some kind of separation down here in this crack we'll just take, you know you can see it there not a huge issue I mean it's not like you're gonna peel back the book and you know be gentle with it be nice. Uh, all soft cover books are not, you know, they're not meant to last forever. But I would say that overall, just looking at the production quality of the books, looks very, very nice. So I'm actually kind of surprised to see that. It could be just an issue with this, this one particular book. It may not be a consistent problem with the others. But anyways, this is the first article by Mig uh, after the battle with text and painting by Mig. It's a Bandai kit in one one hundredth. Um, and uh, just to give you an idea, you know, he goes through obviously assembly steps and then starting to prep and kind of re remaster the kit in his own version of weathering and so forth and uh, goes over obviously the different uh, different surfaces and repaints and uh, weathers things as he sees it so it goes over uh, all those things and then uh, I'm not sure that isn't the start of a new one no it's still the same one so you know you get you, like here's the mostly factory before and this is the after so you can see in terms of just you know what you get there with you know a lot of these really you know fine weathering techniques this, you know this is like movie special effects -y kind of you know weathering techniques what you'd see uh, there and it does a lot of these before and after shots which is nice so yeah if it's something you can kind of look at these and see if it's something you like then you, you know you, you want to try to accomplish then this could be definitely uh, one for you so I guess uh, different projects this one's by Oshi an RX 75 4 gun tank by Bandai this is also 1 100th and again Oshi goes through the same kinds of things starts with the basic kit and then this one is a Zugonku or Zigok uh, amphibious mobile suit by Chulo Yu and also one 100 Bandai kit so again they're showing and then using some of the uh, various different paints although there are um, Tamiya paints in here as well um, and so forth so you know just basically again a flip through and you can see lots more content here lots more projects some great photography, excellent photography. If you're into mechs and Gundam and stuff like that, this is definitely going to be a, uh, a keeper for a book. But uh, We'd like to thank um, our friends at Ammo by MIG for sending us this copy. It will be going off to uh, under the person on staff who will potentially be doing a review or putting it up for a written review, So uh, if he doesn't do it himself. But uh, take a look for it if you're looking for more uh, kind of background or information um, from someone who's actually read the whole book rather than just flipped through it like me. And uh, we'd like to uh, encourage you to leave some feedback and uh, give us uh, any likes uh, that you'd, you'd be interested in, either on YouTube or our website. And uh, invite you to come back again and watch another Turning the Page. Thanks for, thanks for coming. We appreciate it.